Okay, sometimes you have some people, they will have a package, and in the package you have a software. It can be on a CD, it can be on a USB, whatever. Everything that can um, carry data, um, you can call it a package. Let's call it a package in this case. So they send it to you, and you can use it for your company. It's handy. But the thing is, um, this is an old way of doing things. So people in the old days, they sent you a package, can it be a CD or a USB in a company, and then you can use that software. But most of the time, people give you access to something because nowadays people put a lot of software in the cloud. So they put it in the cloud and you get a license to use it. So you see people get here a license to use it. We will talk about this in another video. They get the license to use it, and if they don't pay, the license will be cut off. You can easily program this with some um, Python script or whatever. Yeah. So this is handy. But now we're going to talk about the old days, and late in the future videos, we will talk about more how you can create these things for your own company as a developer, because most time you do know that, and um, what kind of agreements you should use or what kind of terms you should use in order to give people access to your software, give people license to your software. So what I see most of the time is people use standard thing, but most times the standard thing doesn't really protect you. That's something you need to keep in mind. But we're going to talk about the old ways and then we're going to go to the new ways. Not now in this video, another video. But as you can see here, they sent you a package. This contract, you can use it when you send a package and in the package you say, hey, you're allowed to use my software, but you need to follow these rules. And you put exactly who the end user is. You put exactly who's the user. And they need to sign a contract. After they sign the contract, they get the package. And when they use the software, they need to follow it. This happens a lot with a lot of companies. They use it like that. Okay? It's handy because they always hire the person that sent the package to maintain the system. But... This is an old way. Most of the time people use cloud uh, software and other stuff. But this contract, you can use it for this type of situation. I know this is something you do not see a lot. But if you are in a situation where you'd be like, hey, I would like to use this system for my company or for my business model. I want to know more about this. Go on in Discord. Links in the description. Ask me a question about it. We can talk about it. And maybe I can help you. Maybe I'm not. If I cannot help you, I will refer you to the right person. But I want you to be clear that when you use this type of thing for your business model, some people use it for their business model, you know what you're doing. So that's more important for, for me. If you have a question about it, just go on the Discord, ask me a question about it. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. It's for free. See the subscribe button? Press it. I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one.